September 17 is something that you need to be aware because the eclipse is coming. This eclipse can help you manifest your dream. If you are having issues financially during this eclipse, I'll be performing this ritual together with the Sri Yantra to unlock all your dreams and desire, especially with attracting more money to help you unlock all your financial abundance. If you want a solution to all your financial problems, you better visit my website, eatreadlove.me, and join the thousands who's already pre-ordered. There are things that will manifest that you probably would never expect this coming eclipse because it's happening in your eighth house. We will find out what that is, okay? So um, one thing for sure is like you can break a cycle with regards to your finances, if you are tired and tired, you know, let 2024 be and let's get ready for 2025 already. Um, when you get your Sri Yantra, I'll energize it for you for financial freedom. You know the problems, you know. Okay, so I'll put it down there. And there are certain things that you can do and don't do during this eclipse because it is here now. Okay, we don't want to waste time. The Tree of Pentacles is here. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, and I, uh, I shared it in the Manifestation Masters, so I encourage you, go there. I don't want you to miss an opportunity during this time of the eclipse of the do's and don't. Okay. Let's see. For the Leos. Oh, okay. We're coming in strong. Strength card. Oh. Mm hmm Could it be either a second chance in a relationship or be done with it? You have the full and ten of swords. So, if the eclipse happens in your eighth house, we're just doing an energy check-in, okay? So, it's going to be like just the core. We're not going to look at whole month years. The eighth house is a sudden. You could be suddenly done. I'm out. Especially that Saturn is in the seventh. Or, it could be suddenly they approach you, the full and the strength, Asking for a second chance. Saturn is in retrograde Leo, which means the ruler of the seventh for relationship, someone can come back from the past because there is unfinished business. But you're coming in very strong because this is your card. And the strength card is showing, of course, patience. Not like a temperance way, but you're just trying to temper yourself and also just say, it's like, hmm. You know, let's wait. Let's see. You're not sure, sure, if you're going to welcome this person back into your life. Okay? Because I'm seeing here right now, okay, where you could also be focusing on your career, okay? Because you have Jupiter in the, in the, uh, the 10th house for you, okay? Have your chart here. You have Jupiter in Taurus. It's uh, 26 degrees. No, it's there, there. Okay. Like, there's the birth of the Graha. And now it's really immersed himself in your career. Have you gotten a new job, a promotion? It's responsibility. You know, more responsibility. You'll be making bank by 2025. Because Jupiter is going to go to Gemini, 11th house of earning. Right now, you probably have some fights with your friend, Mars in the, um, or a sibling, Mars in the 11th house. Not the best time, nobody's going to cooperate with what you want. You may come out as bossy. The sun has left your, um, your first house. It's officially Virgo season on the 16th or 17th, meaning where you're at. Mercury is the first in the first house. It's a good yoga. Um, it brings opportunity to you as well. Communication, of course. Um... Just a little bit tense if you are dealing with someone who's foreign. Your mom and you could have a little bit of a strained relationship right now. I'm seeing where there's a need for them or for you. Like it's like something they need from you, parental wise. I I see here also that since uh, K2 is in the second now, um, you have been budgeting really, really good. Um, and Sun is there now in Venus, but you may be uh, purchasing something really expensive for yourself. Mm -hmm. or your family I, I'm seeing here right now where your main concern is really um, like what do I do 
to make my life better what do i do so that way i can attract something like that because you have rahu in the eighth round eight is good it's a mystic house uh it's the occult research is the eighth house you may be learning astrology your chart different kinds of divination tarot oracle cards reiki master healing you know all those different uh um, divination okay relationship wise it's giving second chance more than breakup. I see here someone really asking for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Someone here is also saying that they want to move on from the situation. Chariot here. Mm -hmm. They see themselves, because you have the chariot. Okay. This card right here is about the move. This card right here shows direction. Eclipse that is coming is so strong that this is your chance to get out of your financial stress. Great gurus from all over the world knows about this ancient Sri Yantra that if you use it, if you want fast results, in my experience, using Eclipse is the best time to manifest. And you combine the Sri Yantra, you will be so surprised. I will be performing a specific ritual with a prayer that will energize this yantra, this eclipse, visit my website, eatreadlove.me. And, you know, having the chariot, it's really looking like there's a sense of like, this is what we should do so that way we can move forward in our life. Okay. So th there is, there is, there is a direction now in this relationship. But it's coming from you though. It's coming from you. You're the one who's going to tell your person what you want and how you want it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be up to you to comply okay and if you do comply if they do comply then of course like oh things would be better I'm not sure with the chariot uh if you will be vocal about this but you're going to give them that whole like listen this is what i want if you're with me good if not i'm still doing me uh, so it's like that now you know like this could be the theme the energy that you are manifesting more relationship focus so if you want me to energize your Sri Yantra during the time of the eclipse which is now this is the last day to get this um, do let me know okay because I will energize it for you and it comes with everything that um, has helped me to attract wealth prosperity in my life okay and of course the if you have a business or you're married or something like that there's a garnet ring that I'm giving out together with this that can strengthen that or let's just say you want to master more skills for manifestation, the garnet would be helpful for you. Okay? Emperor. That's good. They break their silence. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Your soulmate reaches out to you and expresses uh, Two of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this is someone who's independently making that decision. Okay, Two of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles here is their decision is actually, okay, hear me out, is to communicate with you more. So someone who you haven't heard back from, Five of Pentacles, left you out in the cold, who is an emperor, can be an Aries or another Leo, will reach out. Mercury in the first, communication. But I feel like you're open for this, that's why. Mm. When you're manifesting, subconsciously, there are things that we avoid. Traumatize, this and that. So here, with Mercury in the first, it's helping you. Not sure if subconsciously you don't want it, or you do, but this is now the two of cups here. Um, your person makes that effort or move. I like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty solid. Mm. You got a seven of ones. The six of pentacles is here. The sun card. Wonderful time. Paying of bills. Um, knowing also where's your limit. Seven of ones. 
Six of Pentacles is here with the sun. It's uh, showing. Because the sun is about. It's a big realization. Okay, because it's a luminary. You will realize what extent okay, you can give to your person and what they can as well. So I'm seeing here with the Six of Pentacles and then the Seven of Wands, there is this. Uh, there is this divide, Seven of Wands, which that's going to be gone. You know, the obstacle, basically, that you have in this relationship. The part that keeps the two of you separated. Okay? Because that's also the eclipse in the eighth. I like told you, there is something that's going to be removed. Mm -mm. Now, for some, of course. But for others, you know, I wouldn't know. But if you want me to help you remove that obstacle, make sure you let me know when you get your... Shriantra, and I will energize it for you with that intention. At the same time, um, in Manifestation Masters, I teach also there, it's down there, um, things that can help us remove obstacles in our life, the challenges. It's down there. So I'll see you there, and of course, check out your Shriantra. I'll see you again.